Hi. Uh, if we want to import SQL database that is residing on premises to the Azure Machine Learning Studio, then there is a possibility we can go to this search and can import data. But remember, for uh, before doing this, that we can only um, uh, do this type of work like taking the data from on premises to this studio if we have standard version of workspace if we are working in free tier then we cannot import this see here i have two one is the free one and other one is a standard uh, if i will go to the free one i will not be able to do what I'm going to do and here I have selected Algotex standard version that's why I am able to do the import from on-premises okay so click on the import data and click here on the data source and select on-premises SQL database here it will ask you to create a new data gateway we can create a new data gateway can give uh, any name like I am giving algotex demo and can provide any description and then proceed to the next step here two steps first download the data management gateway from here and copy this code so we will paste this code later so now I will click on the download data management and it will take me to here from here I can click on download and this is basically ask me to download integration runtime of this version I will click on this one which has uh, 242 megabyte of size so I will click next and it is being downloaded integration runtime has been downloaded successfully now I will run it and install to this system it is running the setup and click on next I accept the agreement click on next next here and install it if your computer is able to go to sleep mode or hibernate mode it will setup will prompt you about that click ok on this one and then click on finish on successful installation setup will run the integration runtime and um, for the first time it will show this dialog box so um, if you remember we had this key registration key I will copy it and come to here and will paste it to this one and register remember if you have already installed integration runtime before uh, this installation then it might be possible that you may receive some error or it will not work properly properly so better to uninstall the previous instance of the Microsoft integration runtime and then try the fresh version and then provide the key and click on the register it will verify the authentication key and register this gateway with the with this one it's connecting to the cloud
it it may take some time uh, but within a while this will be completed so this integration runtime is successfully registered and i can close it or launch the configuration manager it's up to me i can simply minimize it and it will be running uh, in the taskbar i can see it running here as well as i can see on the machine learning studio that it is saying that your gateway has been registered successfully so click on the ok button and now now right now we have successfully uh, registered the gateway which is online now it's asking for the database server name so for this whatever whatever server you are running you can provide the information so here i have a server running with this name i will go and copy the server name from here okay and click here and the database name i will provide the database name as the algotex okay so after providing all this value it will ask to enter the credentials i will click on this enter value button and it will take me to download an application save this application once this is downloaded try to run it if this application is not running then try some different browser so here i have logged in into microsoft edge or oh, say the explorer internet explorer so better to use this one and if i click on the enter value it will ask me to download the credential manager application i will allow to download it and it will install and run so here i can provide the username and the password of my sql server login and it will try to connect to my local sql server database via using the gateway running credentials are stored and and values are set so it is almost completed but here i have to provide the query and uh, inside my database i have a single table which is hr hyphen data set i will try to get all the data from this table so come to here uh, come to the microsoft edge and write a sql query here select static from hr data set okay this is a sim simple query and now i am able to test this so i will run it i will click on the run 